What's up YouTube? This is going to be assembly step 3 and uh, basically we're working on this back plate and our Y uh, motor and our Y uh, limit stop switch. So we'll start with, uh, you want to find these bags of screws. Um, we're dealing with our typical M3 nuts there and then our M318 screws. Those are pretty much used so far in assembly of the main structures there and then you want to get yourself some M312's you're going to need those and then I had a hard time finding this what you're after here is these M212's and they're in this bag with the um, springs and some uh, wing nuts and stuff so you'll find that because that's where those M2 screws are going to be so the first thing we're going to assemble is the uh, limit switch the micro switch and it's just going to go on that piece there now the um, uh, I'm trying to think how to explain this. Okay, I'll just show you how it's gonna go. It's gonna go right in that square there. When you lay this back plate out, just make sure the circle is to your left. You see, there's no circle on the right side, and we're gonna shoot for that slot right there. And there's a kind of like feet. So you see the feet there. That's the bottom edge. Um, but first, we're gonna assemble that uh, stop limit switch. Okay, at this point all they've done is uh, kind of arrange the parts how they're going to go together and uh, I got those uh, little screws, those, uh, what were they called, out of that bag there those M212's and uh, that is how the little plate that that switch is going to go is going to orient and it's going to plug into that little square right there. Okay, hopefully this will show up there you just uh, place this on top here, drop your screws in, well it's funny these screws apparently are not aluminum because um, they're magnetizable. Okay, so I'm just going to snug those up, give you an idea, um, some things to watch for, hold on, well, just make sure that little ball in is right across from that little post that sticks out next to that black wire there, and I just need to tighten, oh there, you can see there's a, and below the red wire, there's the groove where we're going to attach that to the back plate. So I'm just going to snug down those uh, screws and I'll be right back. Okay, here all I've done is I've flipped over um, the plate that that switch hooks onto. And I, I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but I dropped the um, nut in that little slot already. And that's, and there's, and those again, that's the um, M18, M3 nut with an M18 screw. And... Next, I'm just going to drop it into that slot right there. See how that goes. I'm going to flip it back over. Mm, there's a lot of tension on those wires. Uh, let me check that out. Yeah, a quick modification I had to do was... Uh, I just kind of like bent those wires up 90 degrees there um, so because they're they stick out too far and they'll hit the the black plate when you try to assemble it so here goes let's see if we can put this together I've already put the um, nut inside this slot here and then I'm just gonna oops and it fell out. <laughs> Let's try that again.
Alrighty. And then this is going to eventually head that direction there. Hopefully that showed up on camera there and made sense. But the biggie is um, there it is hooked in. And again, this, this circle is on the left side. Okay, in uh, case I didn't make this clear, this this is for the Y stop and that's for the Y stepper motor. Um, so you just want to make sure you use the correct ones there. Next, we're going to work on the this L bracket, and it kind of you can kind of tell it only goes in one way. Um, again, you're using your uh, um, M318 screw on there, and uh, it's just going to sit like this with the nut right here. Just drop it in. And then I'm going to put the screw in from the back. So I'll assemble that there. And I'll be right back. Okay, there we got it in. Um, kind of tilt it up to the side for you so you can see it a little bit better. It seems like putting in the nut into the piece before you assemble it, if you can, makes it a lot easier than trying to uh, hold the piece in place and assemble it. Um, it's just notice it looks like it's a little bit off. So there's a little slack in there, but that should be okay. Um, and then we'll press on. Alright, next you're going to grab uh, four of the M312 screws. Again, those are found in the bag labeled M312. And um, lay your stepper motor out. Here, kind of semi-zoom in there. With your cord pointing down. Your large circle on your left side, your small circle on your right side, and the post face into the back. And then we're just going to drop this on top and put your four screws in. So, not rocket science there, I'm just going to screw those in. Alright, now that you got your four uh, M312. Uh, screws holding your stepper motor in. Um, notice that your cable is away from your post over there. Um, just gonna get your typical M3, M18 uh, screws and nuts. I'm gonna drop them in and then we're just gonna take this and put that right in like that. And uh, this L bracket supports the back end. Your wire is facing up. Um, so the next thing this guy's going to do is, uh, again, put the nuts in here, and from the back side we're going to put the screws in. So I'll show you when I get that done. Alright, I'm going to attempt to show you a method that seems to work pretty well. What I've done is I've put my nuts inside the um, slots already, and then I can just get, take my back plate, drop it on top, then drop my screws in. If I lucky and those nuts line up, I just get to tighten them down. I got pretty lucky. I'll snug them up here in a second. But I just thought I'd show you that uh, that method seems to work pretty well. Um, kind of learning easier ways to get those nuts in there. They're so small. Seems again to assemble, put the nuts in and then assemble it seems to work well. But I must say I'm kind of impressed on this. I was kind of like, ah, I wonder how horizontal that shaft is after you get it assembled. And uh, so I just got my level there, popped it on, and it looks pretty much right on. I was pretty impressed. I thought that they would have uh, not had that put in very good, but uh, they did a really good job. I'm really surprised. Anyways, just thought that was pretty interesting. All right, we get to do our first uh, piece of cable management. So, stick your uh, stopper motor wire right through the little screw down here. There you go, that's my.
my cat meowing in the background there. Sorry about that. Um, but there you go. So technically, you're done with step three. Step four is so small, I'm just going to include it in here. Um, three, it. Turn this around. And you're just going to bolt this on here using your uh, um, M318s. And uh, there's not too much rocket science to that. You just got to put those uh, nuts in first, and then, you know, of course, right there. Same with the other side. Um, just make sure your circle is on the. I got to turn around so your circle is going to be uh, facing away from your stepper motor. Maybe another way to look at it is your buttons over there. Your stepper motor kind of the shaft of it will face towards that. So I'm just going to put that together, and that's actually uh, step four right there. Be right back. Okay, what seems to be working well is I laid the assembled part down. I put my nuts in the little slots there. Drop the part on. Then we'll just drop the screws in. But you get the idea. It seems to work well going from the back like this. So I'll just put all four of those screws in. Alright, got uh, all four of those screws in. Now you just want to set, set things aside. And that completes step four. I'm actually going to do uh, step five next because it also is pretty simple. Here's something I kind of noticed a long way. If you look at the finish of the front of this plate, I don't know if it's going to show up on camera, but it's nice and shiny black. And then, like, I grab this next piece that we're going to use. And again, I don't know if it shows up, but see, it's got like bubbles and stuff in it. For, you can tell it looks kind of waxy. Well, that's because there's a plastic coating on there. Um, Again, sometimes run some warm water on there, let you get a get a corner there. There you go. So you might not know that that's on there, and uh, you know then it'll look all smooth and black like that. So if you see any waxy looking stuff it probably has plastic on it. The other side's got some plastic and I'll take that off. Okay, moving on to our next setup. You're going to need uh, four more, uh, or excuse me, four, two uh, M318s. Getting the setup with a screw in the nut. You're going to need that piece there. It's pre-assembled. And, uh, and that back piece right there. You want to look to make sure You've got all the holes drilled in. I've seen people on the internet, um, they'll get it in and the, they'll be missing a hole drilled in there. So it looks like they're all in. And uh, unfortunately, it was nice that they pre-assembled this. But it's got all that tape on there. So i got to disassemble it and uh, take that tape off. So I'll be right back after I get that done. Okay, this next step's pretty easy. I got the um, uh, tape off there. Put it back together. Um, you're just going to install this piece into there and it just goes in like this and again from the back you put the screws in and you put the nuts in the sides here and uh, I chose to um, run the screw this way with the nut on this side you don't want to tighten these down so tight that the bearing or these little wheel guide things don't spin. Um, but all I'm going to do is just assemble that. All right. So uh, got together and you'll kind of start noticing a theme where the flat bottom's got little feet on on them. That's usually the bottom of the unit. You want to make sure that half circle cutout deals two holes is on the top. And again, there's kind of a close up of. Uh, the way I assembled mine and on the back 
you just got your uh, screws holding the things together. And with that, you're done with step five.